Mr. Bun Havis. <laughs> Goodness me, early bird. What time is it? Look at your watch, Mr. Bun Havis. What does it say? Well, would you look at that? It says it's a brand new day. Yeah! I'm Joe's Bun Everybody, Fabo Sticker, I'm about to see ya. Glad you came back. You know where the good stuff is, you know what I mean. Well, we've been busy since you lot were last here, haven't we, eh? What have we been up to, guys? Learning the art of sweet making. Not candy. Oh, no. Sweets as in desserts, pastry, that sort of thing. Yeah, it's been fun, hasn't it? And there's been high demand. Word has got around, boys and girls, that Jovis Bonhovis and the creation crew are baking to a very high standard. Isn't that right, guys? Too right. <laughs> Even if you do say so yourself. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, thanks, Woody. I think. <coughs> oh, hey, phone's ringing. I wonder who that could be. <laughs> hello? Oh, hello, Mrs. Bo Santi Craco. It's <laughs> Mrs. Bo Santi Craco, everybody. <laughs> yeah, what can I do for you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you mean you what? Yeah, re ready this afternoon? Yes. Extra, mm, extra special topping. Whipped cream? So then, well, with the... And I could... With the... Yeah. And this... See, well... OK, bye, Mrs. Bose, Auntie Craco. <gasps> cool. She can talk, can't she? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she can, monkey. Yeah. Uh, you know... From what I gather, she's asked me if I can make her a chocolate cream sponge cake. Oh, lovely. Word's getting around, eh? Yeah. When does she want it for? Oh, just this afternoon. <gasps> this afternoon? Yeah, this afternoon! Ha! Put the proverbial wiggle on it then. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be gorgeous. Hey! That's not right either. Ah, now we're talking. Oh, it's gonna be gorgeous. Hang on, taste. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm an artist. Let's just get this man out. There. Oh, look at this. It's going to be gorgeous. And now, the piece de resistance. Squirty cream and sprinkles. Here we go. <gasps> More. Oh, what do you reckon? I reckon more. Oh, we didn't get our reputation for luxury by skimping. More! Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, it's delicious. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's wonderful. I can't believe I've made such a masterpiece. La -da -da, la -da -de 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 -de. Beautiful. You know what? That looks jolly lovely, doesn't it? I'll be strong, Mr. Bonhovis. I can't resist. I'm gonna have to. Jovis, no! It's just too gorgeous. Ah. <laughs> 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 
I'm sorry. I couldn't resist. I must have it all for me. Mr. Bonhovis, what were you thinking? Hey, hang on a minute. I nearly forgot. It's time to go and see what Betsy, Bella and Flossie are up to. <laughs> Let's go and have a look, shall we? Through the window! Mm. Um, today we're going to um, run up a sweet shop. We are making the sign for our sweet shop. This is very fun. My favourite colour is purple. We are going to get nice and messy with the paint. Spots, spots, spots. Sweet chops almost ready. That's my sister Bella, she's going to be the shop lady first. I like the red circle ones. Sweets. Now it's his Flossie's turn. Now it is my turn to be the shopkeeper. Bella gets to eat some sweets now. Lots and lots of pennies. Bye-bye. Oh, it was so nice to see those girls playing together so nicely like that, wasn't it? I love to see people sharing like that, don't you? They're so thoughtful and generous and giving, just like me. Oh, yeah, right. You're well mixed up, you are. I think you need some help sometimes, Mr Bonhoeffer. Oh, thanks, Monkey. Help with the dishes, you mean? Well, you can finish off those for me, then. <laughs> hey? What? <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to make a Jovis cake. Now, whatever you do, don't try this at home. This requires immense skill, years of practice and a very adult outlook on life. Hey? Mm. What? Oh, is both Andy Quaco. Yeah. Oh, um Oh. The cake. Yes. Well, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. but... Yes. Well, I ate it. Mm. Well, I just couldn't resist, you see, because it was far too delicious and, and creamy. Yes. With the, with the children, with the face. Yeah. Well, mm. well, but... well if I. <laughs> you can't find this person. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, I take it Mrs. Bosanti Craco wasn't too impressed. I don't know what she's got to be so upset about. I did it for her for free. Uh, did what? Made a cake and then ate it yourself? Uh, yeah. <whistles> Mr. Bon Hovis? Uh, what, what do you want, Bookie Worm? You don't want anything of mine, do you? I haven't got anything you want. You can't have it. It's mine. It's all mine. Don't touch my stuff. What on earth? What a bizarre rant, Jovis. I haven't come to take anything from you. 
In fact, it's time for today's story, and I have selected just the right book for you. Um, I mean, uh, for the children at home. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. What's this, then? Is it down here? Nothing about cake, I hope. Thanks, Bookie. See you later, mate. <laughs> what have we got? Oh. Piggy Tubster and the party of the century. <gasps> the party of the century. Wow! Yay! There was a problem with Piggy Tubster. Piggy Tubster was a rocket ship captain. And he worked at a place called the Intergalactic Ministry for Masses of Fun in Space. They called it Imophis for short. <laughs> and because it sounded quite cool. The best place to work in the universe was Imophis, as this was the place where fun was made. If there was a Fabo firework display, the Intergalactic Ministry for Masses of Fun in Space were the ones who made sure it went off with a bang. Hey! You round the sun and back again roller coaster, Imophis designed it and they built it just for a giggle. Picnics on the moon? Imophis organised it all and sent out the invites. You see, everyone at Imophis just worked together for one thing. To make sure there was plenty of fun in the galaxy. Yay! Everyone but one, that is. And this was the problem with Piggy Tubster. Piggy Tubster wanted all the fun for himself. One day, the Grand Chancellor of Great Giggles announced to all the little piggies that a shipment of multicoloured Hyper Joy boxes would soon be arriving at Platform 3. Piggy Tubster thought to himself, if I get there first and unload the shipment, I could have all the Joy boxes for myself. Then I'd be the happiest pig in the galaxy. Monkey, that's what, what he did. When the Grand Chancellor found out that all the joy boxes were missing, he was in despair. Those little packets of wacky fun were going to all the piglets at Crackling's Orphanage. They'd be so disappointed and so sad. They were supposed to be celebrating Happy Day. When the word got out, there was an uproar. I can tell you, nobody could quite believe that anyone would do such a thing. And so, every little piggy in the ministry began searching high and low, behind every tree, in every locker, under every bed and in every garden shed. Yeah. And of course, they found him. Piggy Tubster was there, in his lounge, surrounded by tons of wrapping paper and little half-used happy packs all over his floor. He looked so frightened and sorry and miserable, and certainly not like the happiest pig in the galaxy. Piggy Tubster had to replace all the wacky joy fun and carefully pack it all back into the hyper joy boxes and wrap them all up again. Then he had to scrub dishes at the orphanage for six whole months to make up for what he did. But Piggy Tubster wasn't all bad. He understood that he'd done a rotten thing, and he certainly learned that he didn't have more fun by keeping everything to himself. So you can imagine how delighted he was when his invitation came. Oh yes, his invitation to the party of the century! Piggy Tubster was so excited, this was his chance to show everybody how sorry he was and how he changed. When the night of the party of the century finally arrived, Piggy Tubster waited until everybody was already there, having a great time. He, he, they were dancing the wacky hoopla and having awesome fun, and just when it was really kicking in, he burst through the doors and shouted out loud and clear, Hey, everybody! Look over here! Look! They all shouted, Hey, look! It's Piggy Tubster! And what's all that he's got with him? Piggy Tubster called to them all to settle down and shouted across the party in his biggest, jolliest voice, 
when I had to replace all the wacky joy fun and carefully pack it all back into the hyper joy boxes, I got very good at it. I decided there and then uh -huh. that I uh -huh. needed to yeah, show yeah, you yeah. all how much better yeah, yeah, it is yeah. to share my fun with you. So look, everybody, I've made happy wacky boom boom bags for everyone, filled yeah. with everything we need for a great party. A huge cheer went up, and with that, he emptied a massive bag out for everyone to share in all the hard work he'd done. There was more than enough to go around. And everyone had so much fun with what was inside. There was sparkly huh? wigs, trumpets, uh -huh. Uh -huh. silly string, <laughs> everything you could think of for a great party. But best of all, he'd prayed for a great party for everyone over every single bag. <gasps> the end. Oh, what a fun story. I love it when it all comes together nicely like that because he chose to be huh? a kind, loving person uh -huh. like me huh? instead of a greedy, selfish person. Very uplifting. It's funny though, Bookie Worm often picks a story that relates to me in some way and it, it's nice that he hasn't done that today as uh -oh. <laughs> there certainly wasn't anyone in that story who was anything like me. <laughs> Mr Bon Hovis. Can I talk to you, please? Hello there, my sweet little Dora Mouse. What can I do for you? I was wondering, Mr Bonhovis, was there anything in that story that you could relate to in any way? Uh, uh, what do you mean, Dora? You don't think that Piggy Tubster was a little like you? Certainly not. That's a horrible thing to say. Dora, how could you think such a thing? Well, I've just had a telephone call from Mrs Bosanti Craco. She seems to think she won't be getting a cake for the fate today because you wanted to eat it all for yourself. Oh, no! So there will be no cake for the children this afternoon. Dora! It's true! I'm just like Piggy Tubster! Oh no, what a rotter I am! Dora, I've done it again! Right, that's it! I need to crack on! I can't let those kiddlywinkles go without a cake on fate day! There'd be a riot! I'll make another one! I'll make an even better one! Yes, and I'll ring Mrs Bosanti Craco and I'll apologise to her! And I'll do it right now! I tell you what, you guys, why don't you have a song while I whip it up? Go on, yeah! You have song time! See you in a bit! all the cake you know the cake that i didn't help you make moan groan my tummy's twice the size groan moan because i ate all the pies i don't want to share because it's less for me go and get your own these are my sweeties if you don't give me yours i won't be a friend don't people like that just drive you around the bend but but who ate all the cake you know the cake that I didn't help you make Moan, groan, my tummy's twice the size Groan, moan, cos I ate all the pies Oh, you can't touch these toys, these toys are mine Those toys are mine, in fact, all the toys are mine If you don't give me yours, I won't be your friend Don't people like that, just drive you round the bend It's less for me Go and get your own These are my sweeties If you don't give me yours I won't be your friend Don't people like that Just drive you round the bend Burp, burp Who ate all the cake? 
you know the cake that I didn't help you make. Moan, groan, my tummy's twice the size. Groan, moan, cause I ate all the pies. Oh, you can't touch these toys. These toys are mine, and those toys are mine. In fact, all the toys are mine. If you don't give me yours, I won't be your friend. Don't people like that just drive you around the bend? Yes, Mrs. Bosa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fresh new cake for the kids. Yeah, ready now. Yes, for the fate. Kiddies, yeah. T tasty. Well, mm, yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks. We'll do. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness me. I'll take it over to her this afternoon. You know. <laughs> It seems to me giving things away and sharing is such a joy and a pleasure. Making other people happy makes us happy. You know, we were uh -huh. built that way. Uh -huh. Still, don't believe everything I tell you. I could tell you anything. I could tell you if you get all your teddy bears, bury them in the back garden and water uh -huh. them with uh -huh. honey, you'll get a teddy bear tree in the spring with all teddy bears growing on it. Yeah. That well, sounds great, but is it in the Bible? Let's have a look, shall we? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. scripture yeah. time! Get your, get your, get your, get your Bible out! Get it out, whip it out! Work a chicka chicka scripture time! <laughs> Let's have a look, shall we, teddy bears? Here we go, planting them in the garden. Mm, makes a tree. Mm, lovely teddy bears on it. It's not in here! What about sharing being important? Let's have a look for that, shall we? Luke 3, verses 10 to 12. The people asked John, what should we do? Well, he answered, if you have two shirts, share with someone who does not have one. If you have food, share that too. Even, even the tax collectors came to John. They wanted to be baptised and they said to him, teacher, what should we do? Well... There you go, kids. It's in the Bible. And once again, I'm a div. <laughs> oh, dear me. I think I want to do something different now. Something fun. Make me feel better. Hey, monkey, what is it? What's what? <laughs> what is it, monkey? What is it? What's what? What's what? What's what? I'll tell you, shall I? Well, I think you'd better. It's Sony <laughs> Crafty Time! <laughs> Right, well, we're going to have some fun today, boys and girls. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to make a balloon belly man, just to show you what Mr Bonhovis would have looked like if I'd carried on eating all that cake. <laughs> <laughs> First thing that you're going to need is a pen and a piece of paper, OK? We're going to do it nice and quickly, and I want you to draw a person on your piece of paper, but with a really long body. Watch this. Keep it nice and simple, a long body, and then feet sticking out the bottom like so. Feet sticking out the bottom like so. And then again, a really silly long body. And you'll find out why I'm doing this in a minute. Now, I want his arms to be shooting up in the air like he's terribly surprised. <laughs> As he looks down at his big belly. Where's his big fat belly, you might well say. You'll see that in a minute. OK, so I want some long arms sticking out the top with his fingers all surprised and spread out like that. Ah! <laughs> Same for the other arm. Like so. And then for his head, just draw your favourite style of cartoon. I'm going to do a big round head like that with some spiky shooting up hair. Like he's really surprised. Now this is quite important to make it funny. I want his eyes to be looking down. Two big eyes and his eyes are looking downwards. Okay, and then a big wide open surprised mouth like that. Monkey, will you help me out? Okay. Can you just blow this up for me, mate? Here you go. <gasps> <laughs> Oh, 
I've got one here that I cut out earlier. Save me a bit of time, OK? Now, I'm going to do something terribly sad to him now. I'm going to get my big, sharp scissors. Make sure you get an adult to help you with this. And I'm going to cut the poor fella right in half, like this, look. <laughs> Maybe that's why he looks so upset. But this is why he's got a long body, you see. This half of his body here is going to be used as a tag to stick him onto the balloon. So I'm going to fold him just there, and I'm going to fold him just there. Hey, monkey, have you got that balloon blown up for me? There you go. That's fab. Thank you. So you get your balloon. Tie a knot in it like this. You might need a grown-up to help you with this as well, because it's quite tricky. I've got the knack. OK. Tie a knot in your balloon. It's all coming together. Now I need you to get some sticky tape, which I've got down here. Oh, make sure your balloon doesn't escape you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pin it down. Get yourself a couple of pieces of sticky tape. Two should do it, nice and long, plenty long enough to go over the back of the tags that you've just cut out. One. One. Two. Two. Like so. OK. Now this is Mr Bonhovis's big round belly from when he ate too many cakes. <laughs> so you put the top of your man on there like this, tape him on, ah! and the bottom of your man on here like this, and you tape him on like so, and then get your marker pen <laughs> and draw him on a line down the middle and a line across there. A belt buckle and some buttons. Hey, how's yours getting on there, monkey? OK? I'm being extremely careful today. <laughs> and there you have it. Your own big round Mr Bonhovis who ate all Mrs Bosanti Craco's cake. <laughs> right, monkey, are you finished? Let's have a look at yours. I can't wait to see it. Oh, I made it just for you, Mr Bonovis. Oh, thank you, monkey. I think I've seen enough cake today to last me a lifetime. I wouldn't care if I never saw another creamy sponge again. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all we've got time for today, kids. Don't forget to come back again and we'll see you next time with me, Jovis Bonhovis, and these guys, the Creation Crew. And don't ever forget... Jesus loves you. Bye! Bye.